working with the band David and so yeah I'm gonna play some music. I, I'm not always going to play reggae music by Canadian artists. I'm going to play reggae music. And sometimes I'm going to play other music too. <laughs> so yeah, that was brought to you by RepCap.ca and TorontoReggae.ca. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to deal with this first. And then we just run them through it. Yeah, we're working our way. So, somebody said, yeah, I love that track, so hold that track, please. I can hear it. Um, them say, Freddie McGregor got pissed off and cussed out the, um, the Grammy people and for how them treat reggae and reggae artists. So, let's give my take on these things because this is part of our problem. You know, a man, a very wise man said something to me today. He said, some of would prefer to be slaves as opposed to seeking freedom, or afraid of freedom. And it's true. Because, I uh, must, say, must say last year, Grammy Award then, Will Smith had a movie called Concussion. I saw it, it's one of the best movies I've seen in a very long time. And it got no nominations. And so Will Smith got vexed and a whole heap of people screaming <laughs> and vexed uh, them people are racist. And it's like, really? When I still I try to get validated by people when I like we it is unnecessary to keep asking them to give us awards for what we do. We're talented whether we get awarded or not. Let's put out the work. We need to pull away from this foolishness. Stop being, you know, if them don't support you, so what? Support ourselves. I know you've heard this before. I know Marcus said it a long time ago. Haile Selassie the first said it. And every other economist in the world has also said it. If we don't put work back into ourselves and into our community, what is it for? What we are doing? We keep complaining about the same situation over and over again. It is a constant. It's like if if Rolling Stone magazine, I don't know which one, Billboard, music magazine, them, them call that one the Bible of um, the music industry, and then put a young lady named Jazz Stone on the cover of it. And tell us that she's the top selling reggae artist of the year. And everybody get upset. We get upset for. We know so they never done no research. They never go to Africa or Canada or Australia or Zimbabwe and <laughs> all kinda of places and Taiwan to review any of the reggae albums in those countries. So it's not really and they don't promote those places either. So, it's a skewed thing, and it is skewed to pushing the, the, the originators of reggae music back into a box. Reggae is indigenous to Jamaica, yeah, but it is also indigenous to the people on the planet because it, it resonates with us, with all of us, what are you? You like it or not, I really want to admit to it or not. And those that admit to it are the, are the reasons why we're being supposedly black. Now people have said, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Well, I man, it's not a conspiracy theorist when you can look around you and see it for yourself. You know. Most popular music on the planet and we still can't turn it into something for self. So, you know, again, um, I'm going to jump all over the place, but just little things. This, um, I did a, a compilation with a lot of the artists in this country. Real Roots Reggae, a Canadian story. And there are, I think we had about 19 artists on it. Jason Wilson and Tabarook, Leroy Sibbles, Ibo, Kid Rasta, The Arslans, Michael St. George, Soja Fire, Fred Lux, Donna Makeda, Isaacs and Friendliness, Chester Miller, uh, Ellie Allen, 
Ibadan, Jackie James, Isaacs, Deborah Allen, Tracean, Andrew Branch, Well Charged, and of course we did like a piece with Jojo Bennett, a nice tribute to him back in those days. Um, a reggae merchandising. This is what my objective is to do. Is even if you don't buy my products, buy somebody else's. But let's encourage us to promote from within ourselves and not have somebody else make it in a factory somewhere in China. <laughs> we, we're not seeing any of the money. We can do this ourselves. It's our culture they're coming to get. So why don't we just do it? See? <laughs> I already know they like it because they keep taking it. But we can take it too because we're creative and we're gifted. So I keep trying to, <laughs> to bring that to the forefront as much as I can as it pertains to us getting up and making a change ourselves. I mean, I was doing an Isaac a reggae vibe every Thursday night and now it's not happening. And I don't feel no way about it because what I do isn't made for that environment. So I'm now looking to find a space and I'm putting the word out to everybody. I'm looking for a space where we can have um, artists, um, sculptures, paintings, um, Ital food, meat eater food, no discrimination thing, a stage, some lights, arts and crafts, and it's a nice little collective. I like a vibe that could happen in a place like St. Lawrence Market, if you could picture the old St. Lawrence Market. And we have performances and fruit juices and, you know, we don't need, I don't want to work in a bar and sell alcohol when most of the people who want to hear my music don't drink or don't drink as much as they used to. So I am actually um, imploring <laughs> us to just try for self. So I, 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 I want to do 876ers, which is um, Jamaica's area code. And that is something where proceeds from what we do go towards reggae music and go towards you know, some of the projects in Jamaica that I like to work on. So, the, the 876ers is us investing in self because it's going back to us. If I get it, <laughs> if I get the money going back to us, because that's what I do and that's how we do. So, and it's obvious based on the years of um, the music we brought. So, I'm going to take our next little break. And um, we're ready for the strike up the tune yet. And uh, we're ready for the strike up the first tune for me. Yeah. All right, hold tight. I'm going to introduce the band. This band is called Fugitive Minds. I met these virgins um, a few months ago. I've been watching them, I've been listening to their music. And um, we hooked up and we did a few gigs at the Transact and other things. We helped them to do their. CD release. This is their album, their first album. Thank you. Let me hold it up for the camera. Thank you. So, this band, a very conscious group of gentlemen, and they got a gig at City Hall this year. And um, really held up their own as they should, as reggae soldiers. So, them play like a world beat, them play like a reggae, but what them play is very conscious always. So, we're on the first tune from the start. Whistleblower. <laughs> 